What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. So the rumor that is circulating right now is that PlayStation is going to let you change your online ID very soon. So today I'm going to be sharing some information about that with you. Let's get right into it. Okay, so if you game on PlayStation and you have signed up for their weekly emails where they tell you everything about your account, all the new features that PlayStation is going to be doing and all the discounts they have for their games in the PlayStation Store, in one of the weekly emails that PlayStation sent out, at the bottom of it, it did mention about the online name changes. So if you click into it, this is what you are going to see and read in the articles. We are happy to announce that we will soon begin testing the long awaited feature that will allow users to change their PlayStation Network online ID from their PlayStation 4 systems. The PSN online ID change feature beta will be part of the PlayStation preview program and will become available for select users. Running this preview program, you will be able to change your online ID as many times as you want. The first change is free, and changes after that will cost $10. For PlayStation Plus members, it will only cost $5 after the first change. So what it is basically saying is if you change your online ID, the first one is free. After that, you have to pay for it. It's either going to be $10 if you don't have PlayStation Plus, or it is going to be $5 if you have PlayStation Plus. When you change your online ID, you will have the option to display your previous online ID with your new one. That is so your friends can still recognize you, but once you make this decision, you cannot go back and change it. This feature is only compatible with PlayStation 4 games published after April 1st, 2018, and a large majority of the most played PlayStation 4 games that were released before that date. But it also gives a warning after that saying, not all games and applications for the PlayStation 3, 4, or PlayStation Vita will guarantee support of the online ID change. Meaning, if you do decide to change your name, you might experience some errors and some problems with those certain games. Now to me, honestly, this does scare me, but I assume it is mostly going to be happening with older games. It also says if you experience any issues or any problems, you can go back and change it to your original online ID, and then those games will work once again. They also say on their website there will be a reference and a list of compatible games that were published before April 1st, 2018. So before you change your PlayStation online ID, I would recommend going and checking out this list to make sure any of the games that are older that you do play are going to allow the name change. The beta for the name change is going to conclude very soon. It's going to conclude next month in November. And as of right now, they plan to release it to everybody in early 2019 and that they will release new updates, new information very soon. So to me, I am going to be pretty leery if I do decide to change my PlayStation name. Right now it is Takedown9955. If I do decide to change it, it's simply going to be the real takedown. But before I do decide to change my name on PlayStation, I am going to be looking at this list of compatible games just because I do play mostly new games, but there is some older games that I do play and I want to make sure I'll still be able to play them after I make my name change. But I honestly can't wait. I think it's going to be very exciting. I honestly can't wait to see what happens, but I am going to leave this video here. I will update you in the future whenever they do release their updates. Hope you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.